this is the Samsung Galaxy S22 Ultra, Samsung's biggest flagship phone right now. So this is in our hands today and it's cost us 1,31,999 Indian rupees. So in this video, we are going to just check and test all the cameras of this Samsung Galaxy S22 Ultra smartphone. So I'm very eager to just do this video. So without wasting any time, let's get into the video. So let me show you the phone. Ah. This is the Samsung Galaxy S22 Ultra. So I am in a lake nearby and the clarity of the camera is Simply awesome and here is our cousin Anish to assist us in the shoot. On the rear side we have a 108 megapixel wide angle camera, a 12 megapixel ultra wide and two 10 megapixel telephoto lens. On the front we have a 40 megapixel selfie camera. So yeah we have 4 is to 3 108 megapixel and the same without 108 maybe this turns it to a 12 megapixel image through pixel binning. And here is the 16 is to 9. So, as you'd have already known in my previous videos, 3 by 4 aspect ratio is the image that is got with the full sensor, and rest all are just cropped versions. So, let's take some sample images. These are the sample images from the ultra wide angle sensor. So, it's having good dynamic range, you have better details. And these are the samples from the wide lens, which is the 108 megapixel. So, here is a comparison between the 12 megapixel and uh, 108 megapixel image. Let's try to zoom in and check it. So, you have better details in the 108 megapixel image. So, here is a motion photo. Okay, it takes uh, a small video of it which, which you can just save it and use it as a photo as well. And yeah, filters. These are the inbuilt filters which can be used. So yeah, now let's check the ultra wide. This is the normal lens. Let's move to ultra wide. Oh, that's cool. So yeah, ultra wide is very good. Oh God, 10x. 10x is unbelievable. Oh. Dude, I don't need any zoom lens now. Three X. This is the three X telephoto zoom lens. Ten X. Oh, oh, my hands are shaking. Thirty X. Yeah, you you are losing quality, but oh God. Okay, let's try with that barricade. Oh God! Police! Seriously, from here I'm not able to read anything that's written on that barricade, but Apu just come and see here. Where's the barricade? See here, see here, see in the camera. This is ultra wide. Oh. This is 1x, this is 3x, this is 10x, this is 30x. 30x it's fully clear you are able to see that uh, police, car will police. Uh, 100x <laughs> yeah that's a police barricade it's seriously nothing is visible with our bare eyes but here samsung s22 ultra's magic Appa. Next is portrait mode. Let's try some portraits of our book. Give the back. Hmm. 
this is a comparison between the front camera normal mode and portrait mode it's good the edge detection is fine not that great on the back cam the edge detection is very good if you can zoom and see yeah you have clear definitions the edge detection is very nice change background effect so you can just simply change if you want a blur effect or even a even more blur effect studio high key mono they have a lot of options to just change the background colors color pop big circle spin oh this is nice see apu here baby it's changing the background nice you can just change the color tone of selfie natural or bright let it, let's keep it natural guys i just love it grid lines stabilization on so that is all about the photo and the portrait mode let's go with the video mode now so hey buddies this is the front cam video from the samsung s22 ultra so yeah it's a 40 megapixel sensor so in the front we have multiple options like hd 30 full hd 30 full hd 60 Ultra HD 30 and Ultra HD. So this is the full HD 60 FPS recording from the front cam. I'm over the lama. Phone I'm under kilo potra thera. One. So we are actually running now and. Water leaking now. Let me know in comments how is the shakes. So now we are going to shoot in Ultra HD 60 FPS. So this is the Ultra HD 60 FPS video recording. So I'm just going to run again. How is the video stability guys? I'm just running. Let me know in comments. I think it's very very good, pretty good. Comparing the front cam full HD and Ultra HD 60 FPS videos, the Ultra HD is very good slowing it down to 50 percentage. The Ultra HD is very smooth. Even full HD is really great. This is the Ultra HD 30 FPS video, and this is the full HD 30 FPS video. So we'll use the 30 FPS HD when you have an Ultra HD 60 FPS. Will you use? So if you check some of the settings here, there is an auto FPS option where the FPS will be. automatically decided by the camera itself video stabilization is on so maybe we can try a video without stabilization so this is the ultra hd video without stabilization stabilization is off here so yeah we have a lot of shakes So this is a comparison to show you how stabilization is actually working in Samsung Galaxy S22 Ultra. Okay now let's move to the back cams. Multiple settings like auto FPS so it will decide the FPS based on the environment so we don't need that. Let's enable the stabilization and tracking auto focus. Subject even if they move okay this is nice. Let's see how the auto focus works. and you have an 8k 20 fps let's see oh this is very crop that's fine yeah and super steady okay so it's it works only on full hd and full hd 60 30 and 60 that's fine so we don't super steady let it be 8k 24 fps auto tracking auto was not able to oh with current video says okay that's fine This is the 8K video. Yeah. Yeah, Samsung S22 Ultra has an 8K video recording. See his topai. <laughs> <laughs> so this is the 8K video of Samsung S22 Ultra. Do let me know in comments how is the picture quality? <laughs> 8K video, 8K 24 FPS. So let's move to the next setting. 
you just uh, run uh, run across the frame criss cross uh. Ah. That's why you have the yellow color box. Ah. Wait, sir. Ellie, I'll I'll do it for you. Back one of the. Ah. Ah. One of the. One of the. Okay, let's make it slow. Ippo. Ah. ஒன்னுதான்ிட்டி <laughs> 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 This is the full HD 60 FPS recording. HD 30 FPS recording. Here is the HD 30 FPS recording. So this is the Ultra HD 30 FPS recording. Is it over exposing? Yeah, when we are not having enough light, it's trying to maintain that light on the face. That's fine. Yeah. So you have the pro mode. The pro mode is accessible in all the four lenses: ultra wide, wide, telephoto, and super telephoto. So if you want to know more about how to use the pro mode in your smartphones, I have made a video already. Do check out. Links in description. This is the metering mode, matrix metering, spot metering, and center weighted metering. So, if you want to know about the metering modes, there is a video link in the description. So, this is the timer and flash. So, you can all you can adjust everything here itself. Oh God! Reduce the contrast or increase the contrast. Highlights, shadows. Saturation. If you want to reduce it and make it look log kind of an effect, you can do that. Nice, too good. If you want to have a green tint or a blue tint, all can be done here. So video same as that. So this is also similar. We where you can just adjust the ISO aperture, shutter speed. push verification annual or auto focus uh, you can adjust the white balance as well mic oh friend mic this is also simply cool guys you can just adjust the mic with which the video is getting recorded in pro video mode i am seeing this for the first time well done samsung you can also adjust the decibel of the mic god lot of settings lot of settings fully professional If you want, you can just enable the histogram. Food, okay. Food is specially for food. Panorama. Let's try a panorama. Panorama. No, 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 no. So these are the final results from the panorama mode. So if you want to know how to make this kind of uh, cloning panorama check the links in the description. So this is super slow motion mode. It's very 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 slow guys. But the drawback here is you cannot change the FPS that is required in both super slow and slow. I think uh, slow motion is 240 FPS and uh, super slow is 960 FPS. It should be so. So this is the slow motion video. Yeah, this should be 240 FPS. It's very smooth. nice and next we have some single take and uh, those things we can ignore for now and here is the hyperlapse next oh, hyperlapse can be shot in front cam as well both uhd and full hd supported or you can also adjust the speed of the hyperlapse what else we have in the camera port video everybody this is the portrait video of Samsung S22 Ultra 
so you will have a blurred background in your videos as well so it will be very helpful for vloggers oh these are other options you have in portrait video portrait video with a glitched background Oh you can also switch in the between of the video as well Fuck See this guy so oh god Ange kar ange kar ange kar hum udhar pata kare So this is the director's view uh, mode where we can record both the front cam and back cam at the same time. So this is my front cam where this flow is standing on the frame and uh, doing some smiles and. Hey, uh, <laughs> so, we so you can also record it as separate videos. So that is a cool thing where you can have two different. 16 is to 9 videos at the same time and you can use them in your vlogging so this is simply going to help vloggers so if you are a vlogger this is ultimate both front and the back videos will be recorded as separate videos you can get two videos at the same time samsung galaxy s22 ultra simply a beast guys I'm I'm in live mode. I'm just changing the back cam from ultra wide, wide telephoto. So this is the split screen recording where front and back cam are recorded as split screen, and an AR zone where you can just simply create emojis or doodle. Those things are not required. This is a camera test video, so that's not required. So this mode is Samsung's biggest marketed uh, mode, which is the nitography. We are testing right now. It's processing. See, see the details, guys. It's taking few seconds to capture the image. Oh God, <laughs> nothing is visible on my M8 M8. Why? I could see the. light the umbrella my tv the clock everything is visible in s22 ultra while see i will show the phone here in my phone nothing is visible a m8 m9 while here the s22 ultra is clearly showing the umbrella the tv clock everything is visible This is the night mode in the wide camera, the 108 megapixel camera. This is the night mode in ultra wide camera. It's also very good. Everything is visible. In 3x telephoto zoom, we are able to have some details. This is the nitography view of uh, Samsung's front cam 40 megapixel camera so the light is very low here we just have a small diffused light from the window but this is ultimate Samsung is doing wonders here so it's really going to help if you are a vlogger who goes on adventurous trips to very dark areas you're not having enough light Samsung S22 Ultra is going to help you Hey buddies we have come to the end of today's video we have completely tested all the cameras of this Samsung S22 Ultra and thank you my buddy Anish for acting as <laughs> acting as my model okay done pani puri treat for you uh, so yeah we are going to end this video nice location right
do let me know if this video was really helpful and if you are new to the channel i am carrier from india we talk photography film making editing and many other social media stuff that help creators like us so yeah if you are new here to hit that subscribe button right here and click on the bell icon to get regularly notified whenever i make a video so yeah all formalities done so we'll meet in another video until then it's your carrier signing off bye